What screams pretending to be upper class? I work at an exotic car rental branch. I have plenty of customers that rent up cars and ask us to take the ID tags off the key ring. Understandable. Then I have some that insist they get the same license plate each time and will flip out if I give them the same model as usual but with the plate one digit off. They're trying to make the appearance to whoever that they own the car and get themselves in a trap where they have to keep renting to keep up the illusion that charade never lasts long. Struggling to scrape together the minimum payments on a luxury car. Rich people on Instagram are probably mostly fake rich. Buying followers. If I were a billionaire, I would not want to be tagged partying on a yacht. Especially not in 2020. Wearing brand clothes that have the huge name of the brand on them. I used to work in one of the brand stores and these were literally made for the lower class that wants to show off. More expensive and higher quality items never had this flexing on them. Saw some guys at a stoplight in a convertible 6 Series BMW with the top down blasting music and wearing expensive clothes. I can see his dashboard. Every possible warning light was on. Talking about possessions. Slipping dollar amounts into conversations. Act like you've been there before. $5,000 purse with no money in it. Talking down to working class people. Don't get me wrong there are definitely snooty asshole upper class people however in my interactions with him as a working class person in services they've always been extremely nice. My guess is because we both know who we are in society, so there are no pretensions. Fake upper class people have to completely reinforce the class divide. It had to be absolutely clear that they are and always have been above you. Part of me thinks it's resentment at what they might have used to have been and the other part thinks it's how they think other upper class people behave taking out loans to get your family on a little vacation. My friend is doing this. I told him to save up for a trip like that. Apparently stuff around the house is stressing both him and his so so badly with their kids that they are fighting over taking out $20,000 or $30,000 to go on a vacation. One vacation. Then it's back to fighting and what not. Absurd. Imagine knowingly going into debt to go on one vacation. They both work too which is even more baffling. We don't get anything that scream pretending to be upper class in Australia at the moment. Thanks to our mining sector. At the height of the boom. Someone could leave high school. Get some tickets. And pretty much walk into a six-figure job on the mines. So the young man driving around in an expensive muscle car while covered in tattoos. Slabs of beer in the back. May not be pretending, but could be a cub. Cashed up bogan. Twenty dudes who pulled their money to pay for one bottle service table at a Vegas club. Source. Was one of those dudes. Putting. Entrepreneur. On any social media platform bio. McMansions without curtains or furniture in the upstairs. Shopping in the curtains aisle of Walmart and openly declaring to me. An employee trying to zone. That we. Have no taste. I used to be concerned about how I looked dressed when going to a high-end retailer. Now I simply don't care. If they won't serve me when wearing jeans then I'll just go somewhere else. We took the wheels off our double wide, and bought plastic paneling that looks like bricks. Talking about how expensive everything you have is and how much money you have. I've found the truly wealthy people don't feel compelled to talk about it constantly. Throwing parties every week, and calling everyone old sport. When every item of clothing you're wearing has a design, a logo on it. Real rich people don't walk around looking like billboards. 
getting married and a big fat wedding by taking out loans, borrowing from friends, plus getting super expensive rings when you can't afford one-tenth of it.